Derek Pitts joins me. He's a chief astronomer and planetarium director for the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Derek, welcome. Great to have you with us. So can you give us an idea of what this potential sign of life on Venus could mean? Well, actually, what it could mean is that uh, we have the opportunity to possibly identify life somewhere else uh, in the solar system and in space other than Earth. We really have no confirmation of any kind of life anywhere else. You know, the great attraction of Mars has always been the fact that we've understood Mars to have been so much more like Earth in its early history. If we could identify the possibility of some sort of life on Venus, we would really love to be able to confirm that we're not alone in the universe. So uh, my understanding is that NASA has considered some proposals to send spacecraft to Venus. What would be the benefit of investing in these types of missions? What exactly would these spacecraft be looking for? What scientists always want to do is corroborate the evidence that they already have about any place that they've investigated remotely. So going to Venus would be like acquiring data that would provide what you might call a ground truth, if you will, for the information that we've been able to derive remotely. Uh, that would afford us a better understanding of Venus itself. That in turn helps us to understand how planets form in a solar system and better help us understand how our solar system came into existence. The other piece of this that's actually kind of intriguing is that if we can better understand how Venus is today, it might give us a hint about how we should be thinking about what could happen to Earth in the future if we continue to uh, go down the path of global warming. So uh, there are lots mm. of intriguing possibilities of understanding. So you're saying whatever they're f you're finding on Venus indicates a very old form of life, not a <clears throat> new form of life. Yeah, the way it looks is that this gas that's been created called uh, phosphine gas, there's enough phosphine gas there that uh, the supply has to be quite abundant enough to continue to replace what's there in the atmosphere already. So it would indicate the possibility. I mean, if this is a biological source, it would suggest that this form of life may have been around for quite some time. But we have to be really cautious because it's a big leap to go from identifying a constituent in the atmosphere to saying that it is caused by life on the planet. We've seen an example of this before at Mars where methane gas found in the Martian atmosphere was suggested to come from some biologic process, right. and then scientists were able to identify a geologic mechanism that was creating methane gas. So we still have a lot of right. work to do to clearly understand the or origin of this gas. But in general, what does this potential sign of life tell us about the possibility of other life forms that may be out there in the vast universe? Well, what it tells us is that we really have to broaden our thinking about uh, what kinds of life forms there might be, because this phosphine might indicate something that's similar to what we find here on Earth. But we really have to be prepared for the possibility that there are lots of other signals of life around the solar system and around the galaxy and the universe that we need to open ourselves up to. We don't necessarily have to think of life as being exactly like what we find here on Earth. This is the only example for what we think of as life that we know of. So it's, uh, there, you know, the possibility exists that there could be life in other forms that we're not used to displaying characteristics that we're not used to seeing. So as we discover new characteristics around the solar system, the galaxy, and the universe, we always have to take into account the possibility that perhaps we're seeing something that's suggesting other forms of life. It's fascinating to imagine as the research continues. All right, well, Derek Pitts, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.